this video, I'm going to show you how you can perform a chi-squared test using SPSS. We use chi-squared tests for nominal data. For example, let's suppose that we had a recent event and we counted the number of men and women who attended this event. We wanted to know if there was an equal ratio of men to women. We would normally expect this to be about 50-50. So here, in our codes, we have zero for males and one for females. And you can see that I've coded these here, so I know. So this will appear in the output later on. The chi-squared test looks at expected versus observed outcome. So we had about 215 people attend this event. We would therefore expect to have about 107 people, roughly, in each group. It looks a bit different but we need to do a chi-squared test in order to see whether or not that is significantly different from chance. The first thing that we need to do is we need to go to data, weight cases. We can move frequency, we select the weight cases and then frequency gets moved over here into this box, we press OK. The output appears just to let us know that we have weighted by frequency. Here I have just entered the totals in SPSS. This is quite an easy way of doing this test. We would then go to Analyze, Non-Parametric Tests. I prefer to use a legacy dialogs, but please investigate these other options if you prefer to use them. And then I go here to Chi-Squared Test. Now, I just have to put gender in here. I've already weighted by frequency. And here we've got all categories equal. I'm going to keep this selected because I do expect an equal ratio between men and women. However, if you were measuring something where you were not expecting there to be an equal ratio, but you knew roughly what that ratio was, you can select this option and you can actually add the actual frequencies, the actual total counts that you would expect. But we're going to leave it as that for now. Press OK. And then we get given a table. So remember I said that in total we had 215 people that attended. 215 divided by 2 is 107.5. So we would expect approximately around 107 in each of our groups. But this is not what we have seen. And if we go here to the chi-squared test, we have our test statistic of 5.6, our degrees of freedom, which is 1, and then we have our p-value here, which in this case is 0 0.017. This is significantly different. So we can say that the ratio of men to women is significantly different from what we expected, which was a 50-50 ratio. So that's quite a simple version of a chi-squared test, a goodness fit test. Now, you might have an extra category that you want to look at. So if, let's say, we now wanted to look at whether or not public transport had played a role in the changing of ratios of men to women who attended this event, we would have to add another column and we have to now separate our males and females out by those who use public transport or those who didn't. So again, if we go here, I have labelled zero as people who use public transport and a one as people who used a car or a taxi. And we still have the same codes for male and female. I go back to data view. So what this is saying is we have, a, we have men. So we have 63 men who use public transport and we have 60 women who use public transport. But then we have 62 men who used a car or taxi, but we only had 30 women that used a car or a taxi. So again, what we have to do is we have to go to data and weight cases. Now, in some cases, if you've been within the same data set, this will probably already still be on frequency in this case but I've opened up a new spreadsheet, so therefore nothing has been selected. So again, it will be frequency. I need to select the weight cases, and then I'm moving frequency over, and I'm going to press OK. If you then go to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, and Cross Tabs, you can then put the gender and the public transport in the various columns. So we could put gender, public transport here. If we then go to statistics, we can just make sure that we tick the chi-squared option. There's lots of other options as well, if you're interested, but this is all the one that we're looking at today. So we press continue and then we press okay. 
So this tells us that we're looking at gender versus public transport. We haven't got any missing cases. We've got 215 samples. And then here we have our cross tabs. So this shows us our data in a slightly different format from how we entered it into the SPSS data sheet. But this is what the cross tab is doing. So it generates the total number of males here, total number of females, the total number of females and males who use public transport, the total number of males and females who used a car or a taxi. And then the overall total of both of these are here in the corner. We can then look here at our table. We look at our Pearson chi-squared test statistic and we can see that this is 5.65 and we can see here that under 0 0.017 that we do have a significantly different result. So this means that we can reject our null hypothesis so the mode of transport did affect our ratio of males and females.